what is going on outlaws death here and today i want to share with you another ability card loadout that i really really like it particularly does well in pvp and lately especially lately with the upgrade or changes done to slippery bastard this build has finally flourished so let's check out what it has to offer first off slippery bastard while Deadeye is active, enemies are significantly less accurate when shooting at you, and your accuracy is significantly reduced. The rate at which your Deadeye drains is increased. So overall, people will miss their shots a lot more, and so will you. So it's going to be very, very hard to land shots on you, meaning you'll be able to survive a lot longer. Then we have Fool Me Once. You take much less damage for each consecutive time you are shot. This effect ends if you are not shot for 10 seconds so we're already extremely hard to get shot but in case they do land shots on us within that 10 second margin we'll take less damage then we have Landon's patience waiting up to 15 seconds between shots significantly increases your damage since we're gonna be using a weapon that does not fire incredibly fast this card works very well and the unblinking eye your dead eye and eagle eye drain much lower making it so slippery bastard last much much longer but that's enough talking about the actual cards as you can see right here when we activate slippery bastard we have horrible aim we could be right in front of a person shooting at them you know auto aiming them and we will be shooting the ground this is the same way for them so it will make it so players have a very very hard time shooting at you but there are weapons that are not affected by this like the bow if you're using the bow you'll be able to land headshots no problem at all so you can see right there our arrows are going in a straight line exactly the same when I deactivate my Deadeye. So if you're in a fight and you're using this build and you want to maximize what you do, you have to have a bow and arrow. That way they will not be able to lock onto you, but if you use your bow and arrow, you'll be able to lock onto them without a problem. As you can see right here, I have my Deadeye active. They're going off on me with auto aim and they're not landing that many shots. And when they do land some shots, as you can see, I'm not taking much damage that I would do without, you know, my dead eye, my tonic, my slippery bastard, and all these abilities. They're working very well to make sure I stay alive. So currently I would say this works pretty much like a tank build. As you can see right here, we can take shots non-stop and when it's time to deal the pain, you can land headshots without any problem at all. Now, if you've enjoyed this video and you like this build, let me know in the comment section below. I also want to know what build you run. Defensive, offensive, painted black, slippery bastard, slow and steady. What do you like to run? For now, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more RDR2 online content. Hit that notifications bell to stay up to date every time I post a video. And your boy Death Gun, out.